We know that Murphy has been in the show since season one uh, and has evolved from being one of the most hated characters <laughs> <laughs> of the show to one of the most loved ones. Uh, which I think that all depends. How do you feel about him after that last episode? <laughs> <laughs> you hate him again, or what's the deal? <laughs> so, which is kind of like a journey. Yeah. And, and this show is about journeys. What What was like that in a, you know as an actor as a character? Uh, that evolution from moving to the dark side to a less dark side of. <laughs> uh, it was definitely the greatest challenge that I've ever been given as an actor, and it was uh, the most fun I've ever had playing this character. Um, yeah, to take someone who was so disliked at the beginning, and I don't know if it was ever our goal to make people like him, I think it was our goal to make people understand him, and um, if we did that for, for any of you, then I think we did our job well, and I'm very grateful for it. Great, thank you. And then, um, for Tails, um, we know that, uh, Taz, sorry, Taz, uh, <laughs> Taz is last name, sorry. Um, we know that fans and audience uh, are expecting Clark and Bellamy to become partners on the show, on the show, <laughs> on the show. And aside what has happened on the real life, um, how does your character cope with uh, with this tension? If it's and is he aware of that? He's in the middle of that or not really? How, how is that as an actor for us? Yeah, that's a question that I think is one. Something that at the beginning of this season was funny because at the beginning of the season when we were in a big group, there would be you know we'd all be standing there and. It'd be the three of us standing together. And so I was wondering if that would be something that affected Echo. Um, and then when I was speaking to the writers and speaking to the director, um, it was said to me, which I think was brilliant, that not everything is about a triangulation between two guys and a girl or two girls and a guy. And that these two, you know, the two women respect and understand one another and that by virtue of Echo's feelings for Bellamy, Clark is her extended family. And um, so I don't think that anything that she worries about. Um, but yeah. Great, thanks. Um, I also want to mention, I don't know if you're aware, but uh, she has a, a famous restaurant in, in, <laughs> in Vancouver. She also has that. And also that uh, she supports uh, a charitable organization, a non-profit organization, which supports children at risk of uh, human trafficking. Yeah. So which that's really, uh, we want to thank you for that as well. Um, and in fact, as well, she's also the proud owner of a panda. No. <laughs> yes, 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 thank you. No, fun fact. Owns a panda. <laughs> So with that, we are going to start asking, so uh, I don't, there is some Victor uh, people wanted to ask around. Okay, uh, Echo, what did you betray your king in the season five, uh, going into the, this kind of Hunger Games, trying to kill Octavio? Why did I betray Rowan? Oh. When you go in, when it's forbidden for you? Well, I think uh, there's a couple people in that whole game that cheated. And I think it was out of just, I think Echo, her whole life experience after she lost her family has been survival. And so how she did that was through Queen Naya. And she couldn't save Queen Naya. And she couldn't protect Queen Naya. And I think she felt extremely defensive about Rowan, and she thought the one thing she needs to do is protect Rowan. So she thinks, I think she thought she was smarter than, you know, maybe the rest of the participants, because she's a spy and she's still alive. So she didn't perceive it as uh, betraying him, she perceived it as helping and protecting him. And that's why. Okay. <laughs> Next one. 
maybe here, okay? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Perdona. Okay, so, hi. First, uh, thank you for coming to Madrid. I met you in Barcelona last year. But I didn't get to ask you this question, and it's for both of you. And the question is, uh, what uh, advice would you give to people who study to be actors or actresses? Patience. <laughs> but, um, doing this can take a lot of time. It can also take, I mean, for some people, no time at all. Um, but everyone's different, and there's going to be highs, there's going to be lows, and it's going to take a lot of patience and a lot of hard work to be able to do it with any longevity. So patience is what I would say. In addition to that, I would say find good teachers and good influences, um, because if you know the people who are around you support you and and help you fall in love with the art and the and the beauty of the acting, you're not you know going to maybe fall victim to some of the other traps that exist in this business and that you know you can develop the artistic component which I think a lot of people can forget about but I think teachers and mentors are really important as you steer yourself through uh, this industry. Gracias, thank you. Vamos aquí, por aquí en esta fila. Ah, ahí venga. Hi, uh, first of all, I love you both so much. Um, and my question is, if you could have a full conversation with your character right now, what would you tell them and why? Hmm. That's a tricky one. <laughs> I almost gave away a really big spoiler. <laughs> It's heartbreaking, isn't it? They've come so far, the two of them, between people who, uh, in the first season, if you put them in the same room together, they inevitably tried to kill one another, no matter what the situation was. They would always just be trying to kill each other. And to where we are now, which was, is sort of brothers, like they are, they, they are, they do have a brother connection. Uh, but this sort of betrayal, if that's what you want to call it, is. I don't know if that's something that I'll just make it over quickly. Um, I hope for the sake of the characters that he can one day and, and maybe Murphy can prove himself that maybe this was the right decision to make, but I don't, I don't know how that's going to pan out. It, it could take a long time. It might never happen. I hope it does, though. Thank you. Thank you. My question is for both of you. If you were in Murphy's place right now, would you take the um, immortality chip? No. <laughs> Never. No. I would have zero interest in living. Yeah, me too, me too. <laughs> zero. Yeah. That's the beauty of life, is it's, it's fleeting. It's, mm. short. it's uh, yeah, you just gotta live it every second we got. Mm. Who knows? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, thank you for coming. I love you both. Um, what is your favorite dynamic decision between Murphy or Echo? I mean, friendship? Uh, oh, between the two of us? No, um, between a other character, Murphy and other character. Your favorite dynamic? Find that favorite dynamic. Yeah. I, I love. Uh, I love Bellamy and Murphy. I've been saying that for years. I think that's a wonderful uh, chemistry that Bob and I have there. Um, and working with Louisa Dulimera is, is such a pleasure every day. Who plays her more? She's incredible. Yeah, those would be my two. I think for sure Raven and Echo just totally have it figured out together. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. 
clap for mine. <laughs> if you want to get something done, like those are the two people that will get it done, you know? Um, yeah, so I love that duality. And then of course, like Bob and I would work. Bob was the first person mm -hmm. that I met um, on the whole show. And Bellamy and Echo have the longest history. So it's really nice to continue that history wherever it may go. Great. Por ahí al fondo que hay, sí. Hi, uh, first of all, I, ha I have a question for both of you, but uh, at the beginning I wanted to say that, uh, Richard, I discovered you with the hundred and I've been following um, the rest of our project as well, and I've even seen Continuum, the show you had in Canada. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I loved it so much, and you're one of my favorite actors. And speaking about fans, I wanted to ask you both what is the most fun or crazy his uh, story you have uh, meeting one of the <laughs> fans. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I once, I don't know if I guess it was a fan interaction, I guess they watched the show. I was at a bar and uh, this woman came up to me and was like, you're on, you're on the 100. <laughs> yeah. like, I just want to, I just want to slap you in the face. <laughs> I mean, I was, I, let's say I was not fully sober. No, 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 I was like, I was like, I can do it. Slap it. <laughs> so she slapped me, and I was like, that's all you got? And I got this weird thing. She slapped me four times in the last one. I was like, I was like that's it, you're done. You're done. <laughs> so yeah, but that's more, um, it's more of an odd interaction with myself. <laughs> I don't know if I can top that. That's <laughs> um, I mean, one time, it was another a story I mentioned earlier today, but one time we were in Morocco with a couple of us and we were in like the middle of the bazaar and, and we were, you know, shopping in the market and it was crazy. Then out of nowhere, someone, like a little girl was like, oh my God, it's Echo! <laughs> and then they saw a chair and such and then she's like, oh! and then like Raven showed up and she's like, Raven! <laughs> and then she's like, where's Bellamy? Where's Clark? <laughs> I was just like, they're at home, and <laughs> they're not always together, but <laughs> it was really sweet, yeah. Okay. Una, sí, la del medio, por favor, tú. Sí, sí, no, es tú, sí, sí, tú. Okay, hi, guys. I just say I, I love you both. <laughs> and this is a question for Richard. What do you think about how your character changed through the seasons? Like, at first you hate him, then you love him. What do you think of how he changed? Like, in a good way, or...? Yeah, I mean, that's what we're figuring out, is how far he has uh, changed. I mean, I think I've said for years that I don't know how much he's changed. It's just, um, the more screen time they've allowed for him, the more we've been allowed to show you more sides of him. I think that season one, him is still in there somewhere, and I think he's doing his best not to let that poison inside him loose. Uh, but he enjoys it, what it does. I think clearly you're seeing him currently going through a very tough situation. He's about as weak and he's, he's a weak man currently. He's broken, he's not happy, he's not proud of himself for doing what he's doing. Um, but he's doing what he feels he needs to do out through that fear. So I, mean, I love the progression of him as a character, but I think a lot of it is just getting to know him better, is that he has all of that stuff in him. He, there is a hero inside of him. There is a villain inside of him. He is the bad guy. He is the good guy. He's every, he's every guy. And I'm really glad we get to see more of him and, and kind of figure him out. Stuff. I know, exactly. 
Oh, I, I think honestly behind the scenes was was singing the song in episode one. I was, you just read my mind, I was yeah, just thinking that. That was a ton of fun, and um, I hope one day they're able to put out the entire scene, because I literally did the full six and a half minute song. <laughs> <laughs> there was one point, I don't think they would have kept it, but I I was going down the stairs and I kissed Miller right on the lips of Mr. Jerry right on the lips. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was shutting them off as I pushed Sachin's head out of the way. It was a lot of fun, and they let me just go crazy with it, so. That, that little bit of fun that you saw in episode one, there's a lot more of it, so I hope one day you get to see it. Yeah. I mean, it's all, it's all, I mean, you know, what happens is at the beginning of the season, I'm like, I need to start remembering things that happen because it's yeah. so beautiful and so great every day going to work and working with everybody, you know. Um, we have the opportunity to laugh and create so many memories and stories that it's almost like, I can't even pick one, you know. I was like, just thinking to myself, I have this video of uh, Bob and Eliza and <laughs> um, uh, even wanting to say Raven and Lindsay and Bob is like pretending like one of these baskets is a drum and that and, like, everybody around him is singing that he has like, and it's a blueberry thing. So he, ha he was <laughs> so stupid though, but it's like one of those things you had to be there where he had the bloobs. <laughs> you know, like, you had to be there. I got the blue zooms, blooms, and he kept on like singing, and I was like, awesome! And I just found the video this morning, actually. So, um, but this, these like, tech kind of things happen all the time. So, yeah. Thanks. Another one. We have a uh, few then. Okay, CC <laughs> two. Uh, hi. Mm, the question is for both of you, and it's how long do you usually have to practice to properly say your lines in trick? Mm, do I repeat it? No, 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 I totally, uh, how, how, how long do you practice to, to learn our lines in trick? Um, I don't speak trick very often. There is a scene later this season, not a spoiler, I do speak trig later this season. Uh, to you, in fact, at some point, at some scenario that I'm not going to win. Um, and I absolutely blew it. Like, I sucked. That was awesome. <laughs> I spent hours and hours and hours memorizing, and I had it so well, and then one time it went wrong, and it, it just left my brain. <laughs> and I was so upset, and I was like, I remember, like, I remember you were really upset. It was just really quiet. And I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, so, yeah. I don't know. Apparently, I can try to prep it for hours and then still not get it because that really sucked. And yeah, you were so the sweet. Good, the good thing is, is that I really don't think they're ever going to make me do trick again. <laughs> <laughs> you were walking around set that day just to, like saying it over and over and yeah, over and over and over and over. And then. You know, when you're in the emotion of the scene, it can start to interrupt, you know, whatever is going on with your lines. But um, for me, I love it, and I, sure. I don't know how I... I'm amazing at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we've all been, when you first start working with Trig, like, if you, you, it's hard, you know, it's really hard, but I've created like a system that I've now, I'm now been able to practice and use and I love it, so. Thanks for sharing your system with me. I tried to. <laughs> did you? I did. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Otra más? Aquí? Que es para tu? Tu, tu? Si, tu? Si, si, tu. In the first episode of this season, no eras tú, pero bueno. <risa> Sorry. Venga, vale. Eh, Echo, have uh, heard uh, a song like Good of Her Head. Good of Her Head, right? Cut. Did you kill Costia? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Legitimately, I don't know. I um, know there was rumors about that. I'm not entirely sure where they came from, um, but that is something I don't know. Gracias. A chica de friends. 
Hi. Hi. Uh, my, uh, my question is for Tasha, and I want to ask if we are going to see. <laughs> I love you. Wrong choice. <laughs> if we are going to see more about uh, Echo Past. Hopefully. Um, I think there's a fair chance you might see another sliver of her past yeah, coming up. If it made the edit. <laughs> Thank you. Chica de rosa, tutu, por de naranja o por sí. Muy bien. Oh, hi. Potete, potete. No, can I stand? Can I turn my seat? Just, um, I'm really shy. And I'm really nervous. And they stare at me. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm a huge fan of the show. Um, the Hunter is my favorite show. Um, and I have a question for both of you. Well, it's not a question. Um, could you describe the, the season finale in three words? Whoa. Or one? <laughs> or two? <laughs> three words? I'm not being three words? <laughs> Show's not over. Mm -hmm. Good one. That's a good one. Una más y ya terminamos. La chica de rayas azul y blanco. Tú, sí, tú. Esta es la última. Esta es la última pregunta. Ok. Que sea buena. Uh, it's been a while um, since the, the hundred started um, to make like a family with mm, all the actors. Um, how is it see when it ends and you have to separate? What are your plans? I imagine at this point I'm hoping that, our, that all of our bonds are strong enough to maintain after the show is over. I mean, we won't see each other as much as we do now, but that's, uh, I mean, the say la vie, that's part of life. That you move on, things change. Um, we will always, at least in my mind, in my heart, have an incredibly special connection with every single person on this cast and crew that we've worked together for so many years. And I'm very grateful, and I'm very grateful for you. I mean, I couldn't really say it any better than that, you know. I was hoping you could. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I mean. Okay, thank you very much for coming tonight. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Enjoy your stay here in Madrid, the rest. And um, good luck in thank you. your future career. I thank hope you. to see you back if there is another season or yeah. so. Hopefully. Hopefully. Who's the same? Uh, we have the Warner people around here, so we can tell them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Recordad que los que están en Sci-Fi, que lo traemos express from the U.S. todo lo rápido que podemos, que hay que doblarlo y subtitularlo, y que os esperamos en la próxima, que un placer y que mucha suerte a todos. Gracias.